Hello, Lower Hill Lions. Mr. Lelio here with a recording of the lesson of the week. We've made it to week number nine, and we made it to November. That means we have a brand new music of the month. So if you haven't listened yet, I want you to listen to just the beginning of Mr. Haydn's Surprise Symphony. It's right above this lesson, okay? So what you're going to do is pause this video, and you're going to click on the picture of this, Franz Joseph Haydn's Surprise Symphony. And you, the question we asked in class was, why is it called the Surprise Symphony? The video that you're gonna see is gonna show the conductor, the performer, and the audience, okay? So that's a, those are important words to remember this month. That's what we're gonna learn a lot about, the conductor, the performer, and the audience. You don't have to listen to the whole thing. The surprise happens in the beginning, maybe the first two minutes, okay? You can listen to the whole thing, but if you get bored and want to stop, uh, the surprise really happens in the beginning, okay? So pause this video now and listen to the music of the month, Surprise Symphony by Franz Joseph Haydn, and figure out what, what is the surprise, okay? Then come back to me. Welcome back. Uh, if you were in class, we took note of who is here today. If for some reason you couldn't make our class this week and you're participating on the website by watching the video, if you want to drop Mr. Rogers or I an email and let us know about that, we can, we're can. we happy to give you credit for that. But um, if we don't know what you're doing, then we don't know how to uh, assess you. So if you are participating and you weren't able to make it for cl to class, some technical reasons or a family issue, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. It's a new month. It's November. It's a new unit. This is called Who is a Composer? Who is the Audience? In this unit, you're going to move and play simple rhythms, sing and move to action songs. And by the end of November, you should be able to explain the role of the composer and the audience in music. Those are two things you should be able to explain to someone else by the time we get to the November end of November. Who is the composer and what does the audience do? So not pictured in the video that you saw in the beginning of this lesson is the composer of the Surprise Symphony, and his full name is Franz Joseph Haydn. He's so famous in music that all you have to say is Haydn. You just say his last name, and we know who you're talking about. He's from our past. He was born in 1732, and he died in 1809. He is a figure of the past. He was a real person. So who is a composer? What does what is this word I keep saying? A composer creates music. So they think of it, they make decisions about the music. They decide what instruments will play. Will it be loud or soft? Uh, are the sounds going to be long or short? Okay, so the composer makes all those choices when they create the music. They use their brains. They often write it down to share with others. Many composers are going to write their music down either on a computer or on paper so they can share with others so they can play it. Uh, many composers are also skilled performers. Here are just some examples of composers. There's Haydn that you see. Um, Caroline Shaw is a, a phenomenal composer, uh, wrote some beautiful music for voices. Witten Marsalis is playing the trumpet. He is a well-known um, musician and composer and advocate for students. Uh, he is a well-known musician and composer. Mr. Shang is a composer out of the University of Michigan, and he writes music for um, orchestra. I think it's Michigan. I'll have to look that up. I, maybe it's Wisconsin. No, I think it's Michigan. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna look that up. So anyway, Mr. Shang is a well-known composer in the in the orchestra field. He writes a lot of orchestra music. You can see him talking to a cello player right there about the music. So who was Haydn? Haydn was a composer. He wrote a lot of music. He is a real person. He's not fictional. No one made him up. Um, he is in our past. Let's watch this little video. It's very short and see if you can learn at least one thing about our composer of the month is Haydn. Let's watch this and see if you can learn one thing, one new thing.
Franz Joseph Haydn was born on March 31, 1732, in Rohrau, a village in Austria about 30 miles southeast of Vienna. Unlike many great composers, Haydn did not come from a musical family. Haydn instead learned music from a paternal cousin named J. M. Frank. Because of his notable singing ability, at the age of eight, he traveled to Vienna where he joined the choir at St. Stephen's. Haydn spent a majority of his career employed at Esterhaza, where he composed for numerous Esterhazy princes, including Prince Nicholas, for whom Haydn was forced to write a great deal of music for baritone, an outdated cello-like instrument. Haydn's musical output was immense. The exact amount of works he produced is unknown, however he is credited to over 100 symphonies, 84 string quartets, 25 concertos, 52 piano sonatas, 12 masses, 24 operas, and 10 oratorios and cantatas. In November of 1772, he wrote the Farewell Symphony. During its performance, one by one, each member of the orchestra packs up their instruments and leaves the stage until there are only two violins left playing. Franz Joseph Haydn died on May 31, 1809 in Vienna, Austria at the age of 77. So there was a lot of facts you could have learned about Haydn there. Um, he was a composer. He wrote a lot of music. Uh, he is no longer alive. He was a choir boy. He used to sing in a choir when he was very young. Okay, moving on. Uh, it's time for a new game. Oh, I love this game. It got The song got in my head and I was singing it all week, driving everybody crazy. Mr. Delgadio here has a new game. So this is, I um, want you to follow along. We're going to do this again next week. Um, you don't have to have it all learned this week, but just see if maybe you could do the motions or pay attention to the rhythm. Okay, let's play along with Mr. Delgadio's new game. New to us about a scarecrow named Johnny Grimm. Hey friends, Mr. Delgadio here, and today we're going to learn a song about a scarecrow. It goes like this. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Let's see how well you were listening. What's the name of my scarecrow? Johnny Grimm. And how do the crows feel about Johnny Grimm? They're not scared. And what do they take? A peach and a pear. Let's sing it again. And can you copy my hand motions? Here we go. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Ah, ah. So let's play a little game that goes with the song. You will need a chair, and you will need a rhythm stick, or any type of stick. Um, you're going to be standing up so that you can walk around the chair in a bit. Uh, but first, let's learn this little pattern that goes like this. Hand, hand, chair, chair. So two beats on the hand and two taps on the chair. Can we do that this many times? Here we go. Two, three, four. Let's make one little adjustment. The last time we tap the chair, instead of tapping twice, let's tap only one time. Can we make that little adjustment? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again, but this time I'm going to sing the beginning of our Scarecrow song. Here 
we go. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Did you see how the word him lines up perfectly with that one tap on the chair? Let's do it again. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. What did I do in the middle of the song? The take a peach, take a pear part. I walked around the chair. And I had to do it quickly so that I was back for the third part of the song, which is just like the first part of the song. Well, can you see the rhythms to my left and right? These are my fruit and vegetable crop rhythms. Let's check them out one at a time. So up top on this side, the first one is the peach rhythm. Can you be my echo? Do, do, day, do, day, do. Next we have the apple rhythm. Do, day, do, do, do. On the bottom we have the squash rhythm. Do, do, day, do, do. Over on the other side, we have the corn rhythm. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. The pear rhythm. Do, 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 day, do, day. And the last one is the onion rhythm. Do, day, do, day, do, do. So, right now, I want you to pick one of these six crops to be yours. Did you pick yours? Okay, once you pick it, you can't change. So here's how the game works. We're gonna sing the song, we're gonna go around the chair, and then a big crow is gonna stop by and steal one of these crops. Will it be yours? We'll find out. And he's gonna keep coming back and taking more crops until there's only one crop left. And the last group of crop bearers standing are the winners. So here we go from the beginning. I know a scarecrow and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Uh-oh, that crow stole this crop. Which crop is that? The apples. Sorry, apples. As a way of saying goodbye to the apples, let's play their rhythm two times. Here we go. And we continue. Here we go. I know a step. And his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow. And his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Ah, 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 ah. Crows are back. And they just took this crop. Which crop was that? The corn crop. Let's play the corn rhythm two more times. Here we go. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. <coughs> Well, another crop has been stolen. This crop. Which crop is that? The pears. Sorry, pears. Let's play them two times. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care, oh, I know a scarecrow, 
and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Ah, 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 ah. Another crop is lost. This crop. What was that? That was the peach rhythm. Let's play it two times. Here we go. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a peach, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Ah, 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 ah. Another crop is lost. This time, they took the... The onions. Sorry, onions. Let's play them two times. Here we go. And what was the last crop standing? The Mighty Squash. Let's play the squash two times. So have fun with that song and with that game. And this song can be sung or played in canon, like this. I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. And his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Take a pear, take a pear, Johnny doesn't care. Oh, I know a scarecrow, and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him. Good job, boys and girls. We learned a brand new song about Johnny Grimm, and I hope you made it all the way through the game. I've left this as your activity of the week. Okay, so if you want to, next week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do more with our uh, vegetable rhythms here, our crop rhythms. We're gonna learn a little bit more, review what rhythm is, and practice some of those so you can maybe pick a different one this time, I don't know. Okay, and then um, so here's a recording if you if that what recording was laggy or you just want to hear it again I've left this as your activity of the week. See if you can learn the tune I know a scarecrow and his name is Johnny Grimm. Oh, but the crows are not afraid of him Can you learn the tune and the motions before next week and we'll play it again. It's a class. Okay. All right Stay safe. You've done a very nice job listening to this video all the way through and participating I know you were moving and singing along and absolutely doing the best you can So have a great week and I'll see you in music class next week Bye.